So I noticed in the comments section of a previous Phantom Gate booster box opening, maybe box 14, by the way we're going to do 18 right now, I noticed that Jordan Japan said he thought this background was the best or it was his favorite or something. So just for you man, I am bringing it back for this particular video and hopefully it's going to help rile up a really nice card from this booster box of Phantom Gate. So wow, we are into the home stretch, guys. This is the final weekend, the final two days of the Phantom Gate case on my channel. I've actually been taking a few days of a break from booster box openings offline, I suppose you would call it. Um, I'm now opening this on the 24th of September, and I haven't opened one since the 21st. So uh, what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to pre-cut all the packs. Um, how am I going to do this? Maybe I'll do two, two at a time, so you guys can feel free to fast forward a couple of minutes and, uh, you know, go into, uh, whatever it is that you want to see, then that's perfectly fine by me. Can't imagine that listening to me rambling and watching me cut packs is the most exciting thing in the world. But to be honest, uh, the really crazy ideas I'm not really feeling right now, so I just kind of want to get through the, get through the case, you know? Almost had uh, these uh, these booster boxes are like lording over me, saying, "Oh, you must do me." Come on, that's what she said. You guys know. Uh, I just a just a thing that I've got to accomplish, and I've been ridiculously busy with work and obviously doing Phantom Gate sales. By the way, updated sale video will be out tomorrow after the um, the twentieth box has been uploaded. Um, and that's what's going to include any full arts that are for sale for Phantom Gate users. But I was thinking that since it's unlikely I'm going to finish the set, although I'm still hoping for one new card, uh, it's unlikely I'll finish the set, which is fine. But maybe I'll be able to secure a trade with someone who has al already opened Phantom Gate in case I do fail to pull the Ultra Rare Gengar or the Lysander's Last Resort. So we'll kind of have to see how that all goes. So actually, that didn't take a hellish amount of time, so... We're going to reorder these, since the packs are already flipped. That way I can still open them in order. I'm thinking I might just get rid of this booster box so it, you know, isn't in the way. On the floor you go. Let's go rapid fire, guys. Let's see what we can pull. Alright, first pack is Dimensional Valley, Golbat, Fletchling, Kingler, and Blissey. I hope I open these packs enough. Alright, Diggersby, Pumpkaboo, Rog and Roller, Zvilus, and a Chandelure. I forgot my sleeves are upside down. So that happens when you haven't opened anything in a few days. If anything, I just kind of want to cut down the um, the amount of time that you guys have to spend, ooh, Gigalith, uh, watching these openings, because I know that a lot of the cards are going to be repetitive, and I know that you are sticking around for these openings for the same reason that I'm doing them, in an effort to see if I will be able to complete the set. And while that looks unlikely, and while what ended up being the real attraction was me pulling 15 full arts or better out of the first 17 bo uh, booster boxes, I appreciate your viewership, and I'm going to do what I can to minimize the amount of time that you need to spend here in order to see these, ooh, Team Flare card, these, uh, these pulls, especially if you've been watching since the beginning. I mean, if you've been watching since the beginning, hats off to you guys, if you watch this entire case. That's the reason I go, you know, as big as I do, get this entire case. Because I know you guys, a lot of you are going to be watching it, and a lot of you look forward to the full case. So I try to set myself apart and do something a little bit different. If I can help it. Uh, Jellicent, Litwick, Loudred, Gligar, nice, Malamar EX. But also, shorter videos are good for me too, because it's just... Less time converting and uploading, and more time interacting with you guys in the comments section. All you amazing, consistent commenters. 
You guys are so awesome. Leaveny, uh, Fuldor, Bunnelby, Puchiana, nice. Mega Gengar EX. Doesn't look like I'm going to have a real shortage on the Mega Gengar EXs, which is nice. After only pulling one of the first five boxes, they've really come around. So that is sweet. So yeah, um, rather than me reading off all these names, um, guys, this does not get old at all seeing this card. Um, what do we have coming in uh, December? They recently, and actually just in the past couple of days, uh, as I, as it turns out, correctly predicted on Twitter, uh, they announced a dual set for X and Y five for Japan in December. They're going to be called Tidal Storm and Gaia Volcano. So obviously uh, surrounding the Omega Ruby and Al Alpha Sapphire sets. And um, I really don't think I can afford a case of both. I'm by no means ruling it out. Because I've done some crazy stuff before like that. But So I don't be terribly surprised if I do end up getting a case of both. But as of right now, I'm not planning on it. I can be that certain for you. I'll probably get a case of the, um, the side deck. I don't even know. Did, did it have a name? I honestly can't recall. Um, because they're releasing Metagross and Metagross, uh, Mega Metagross EX. Which is cool. Why am I going to sleeve the Mystery Energy? Sorry, guys. I'm a dope sometimes when I talk. But it's only supposed to be like 10 bucks a piece plus shipping. So I figure I might just buy them. And I guess they come in packs too. Which is nice. Um, ooh, is there going to be something good in here? I don't know, I got a good feeling about this pack. Uh, Gliscor, Dano, Sawaddle, Chansey, nice, Manectric EX. Guess it was something good. Probably a non-full art, non-ultra rare box. But anyways, um, those are going to be 10 bucks a piece, and I think they each come packing with, uh, with three packs of... Gaia Volcano and um, Tidal Storm a piece, which is really awesome. So definitely get my money's worth with that. But ooh, for alligator, uh, might be time to um, to bid adieu to the uh, the full case openings, especially when they do two at a time. Because if you did not know, that would be a thousand dollars plus shipping, just for those, and the shipping would be very expensive too. I wouldn't be surprised if shipping was $150, $175 for, for two cases at once. I've never bought 40 boxes together, but it would not shock me in the least. Ooh, would love some last pack magic out of the last two. So, as of right now, I'm thinking about the uh, the possibility of just making it 10 boxes a piece so that I can pull a little better and save my wallet. Ooh, Reggie Gigas. Love that card. Honestly, even without a full art or um, ultra rare in this box, the pulls have been pretty good. And we're going to keep it under 10 minutes, which keeps you guys satisfied. Honchcrow, Fletchling, Kingler, Pumpkaboo, and Zerosic in the last pack. And a quick and speedy recap for you guys. Nothing magnificent, but a nice short video so that you can get to the last two boxes. We have Gigalith, Chandelure, Hydreigon, Slurpuff, Feraligator, and Regigigas for the regular hollows. Jamming Net for the Team Flare card. EXs were Manectric and Malamar, and the Mega EX was Gengar. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I have two different backgrounds planned for box 19 and 20, so stay tuned for that. And hopefully, in box 19 or 20, you know, obviously preferably box 20 i will get something i need and oh it would be oh so sweet if i did so thanks for watching see you later